Hi guys, I'm Samina and welcome to the Cupcake Confession where I show you how you can learn to make amazing decadent desserts and sweet treats. If this is something that you enjoy, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And while you do that, also don't forget to ding this little bell button. That way you will be notified every time I post a new recipe. Today I am showing you how you can learn to make this extravagant and luxurious coffee creme brulee with this superb burnt caramelized sugar topping and also wait for it. It will also have this signature cracking sound of the caramelized sugar. I am going to show you how I made this coffee creme brulee from scratch. Here you go. The first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 100 degrees Celsius. Now I am going to start by heating the cream. So here I have 25% fresh cream. You can use heavy cream if it's available. Uh, on low heat now I am just bringing it up to temperature. So while that's happening, I am going to start whisking my egg yolks, sugar and vanilla extract together. Now um, you don't have to whisk it till it gets really light and pale and fluffy but it just needs to sort of mix well, combine together. The sugar needs to be homogeneously mixed with the egg yolks and um, it should look somewhat like this, just a few shades lighter in colour. And while that's happening, I'm going to check back on my cream. I think it must be done. So ideally it should be scalding. So scalding is basically just little tiny bubbles appearing along the edges or the sides of the saucepan be very very careful that you don't burn the cream alternately instead of using vanilla extract you could also scrape a vanilla bean uh, the seeds of a vanilla bean into this and also pop that entire bean inside so it infuses the cream with this delicious vanilla flavor but i'm on a budget so i'm going to use vanilla extract now once it starts to scald, you're going to take it off the heat and very gently, just a tiny bit first, you're going to add a very tiny amount of that cream into the egg yolk mix. Now why don't you add everything at one go? That's because it will essentially scramble your eggs and the egg mix and you don't want that. So tempering it with just a little bit of cream helps bring the egg yolks to temperature. So it adjusts to the temperature gradually and then you add the rest of the cream mix. So um, it sort of stays very um, even in terms of temperature and does not get a temperature shock. So once you've added all of the cream, you're just going to whisk it very lightly. And then you're going to add your freshly brewed espresso. I've used a very strong variety of espresso here, but you can also add uh, some instant coffee powder. All the details regarding the ingredients and the recipe are mentioned in the description box below for your reference. Now I'm just going to give it a good whisk and after that now as you can see it's really really foamy at this stage and you don't want the custard to have any kind of foam because as it sets in the oven uh, it will develop these kind of acne like things at the surface which you don't want. So you're just going to scrape it off with your metal spoon and discard this foam. So I like to go really slow and get as much of the foam as I can. You can't get all of it out in one go at this stage, that's fine because when you fill these uh, into the ramekins, you can again take it off when there are tiny little bubbles that appear, I'll show you later on. So once you've managed to get most of it out, you can have a look at the foam that I've collected there. I'm going to discard that, I don't need it. Now here I have four ramekins and I'm going to use a ladle and pour um, the custard mix into these ramekins and fill it almost to the top because they're not going to rise as such, they're just going to set in the oven. Um, now I'm just going to fill this up. Uh, what usually people do with creme brulees is use a um, water bath but we're not going to do that. Now before I move on to that section here is what you can do when you see bubbles appearing. Take your spoon and take the foam out and you're good to go. Now you will not need a water bath for this recipe. I'm just going to put these in a baking tray and then bake this in the oven for about 55 minutes or so. Um, what I have done here instead of using a higher temperature and a water bath is really lowered the temperature to 100 degrees Celsius. So the gentle temperature gently cooks the custard. After you've taken the custards out of the oven, you're going to let it cool completely to room temperature and then put this in the refrigerator for an entire day. Now after the day has been done and this is 
after 24 hours i'm going to sprinkle some caster sugar on the surface and i'm just going to shuffle it around and as you can see the custards are set firmly otherwise the custard would have just plopped out so the setting time is very very important you have to give it a full 24 hours or at least five to six hours in the refrigerator now i'm going to use my brulee torch or a kitchen torch and just kind of um, gently caramelize the sugar you could also use a kitchen lighter that has a flame coming off from the end um, I'm just going to make sure that I cover every bit of the sugar and instead of leaving it pale I'm just going to go for that extra sort of burnt flavor I just really like the bitter taste but you can leave it before that or you can just brulee it as much as you like one important thing to note is to let this caramelized sugar sit for about three to four minutes so it cools down and as it cools it hardens now for that sound that you've been waiting for isn't it so satisfying to hear the crack of that sugar i mean this is so perfect it is absolutely luxurious and you have to make this uh, recipe guys if you have any comments or suggestions pop them down in the comments below I post a new recipe every Tuesday so if this is something that you enjoy and if you want to be notified every time I post a new recipe then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you do that also don't forget to ding this little bell button. I'll see you again next time. Bye.